Hey, friendly YouTubers. Uh, so today we're gonna actually be taking some clams. We're gonna be breading them up. We're gonna use a couple different types of breading. Um, so we usually fry razor clams. And just to be completely candid, we're not, we're not that into fried food anymore. So we decided to, uh, we're gonna do a couple different sort of tried and true recipes and, and bake them. And just see what that uh, kind of nets. So we are gonna do the old uh, crush cracker recipe. We are going to do, no product sponsorship has happened here. Uh, we're gonna do Uncle, Bick's, uh, Uncle Buck's fish batter that we got at Bass Pro Shops. And we're gonna try uh, this quick. So basically we've already cut and cleaned the clams. We're just gonna basically scoot them up, bake them up and uh, see what happens and, and hopefully you guys can learn a little bit from what we've done and take some take some wisdom from us. So I um, think I'm probably gonna start with the Bisquick option here. And uh, it looks like our oven has come up to temperature. So hold on, I'm gonna get a, I think we're just gonna dump it, right? I mean, I don't know if there's really officially a, a measurement. Set us out a pan here. And I'm gonna kind of set each one ready to go so we remember what's what. Um, so instead of doing egg wash, we are actually gonna do we soak these overnight in, uh, we soaked them overnight in buttermilk. Uh, just to see how that kinda turns out. So it's kind of interesting for us to be doing this because one of our one of our challenges, like I said, we just I love razor clams, but we just don't eat uh, we just just don't eat don't eat fried food anymore. Uh, just for the record, these are rich type rich ish crackers, and uh, I am really pulverizing the crud out of this just to get them ready. Sorry, we just prepped some other food and there was something sticky left over from dinner. Okay, so there we got it. Options one, two, and three. Uh, I'm gonna start by giving our cooking pan a pretty liberal spray here and we have already preheated our oven to 450. So here are our clams. Uh, we breaded them or we uh, filleted them up and pounded the necks on them the other night so and they have been soaking as I said overnight so I'm just gonna do a couple in each option here and by the way I do have to forgive me for my hands I work for a software company but I also work on vehicles and tractors a lot in my my hands take a beating, but they also permanently seem to get stained, and I can't get the stains out. So, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty stoked about this to have a an option here that's 
Not a fried, oh, that's a big clam. I think I'm gonna go with that guy in here because I think the Uncle Bucks is, is smelling the best to me. Okay. Everybody's getting a shake. I gotta tell you, you can't see this, but my dogs are so like into my feet right now, I can hardly walk because I don't know if it's the smell of these clams or what it is. I will tell you that. I have used a lot of methods for breading stuff, fishing, whatever. And I really have found the one gallon Ziploc bag to be one of the best methods. So, why we let them sit overnight in buttermilk? Um, basically, tried a couple different options, egg wash and what have you, and kind of reading online, I guess that's a, it's a good way to tenderize the clams a little bit, um, and get a surface that's nice and, nice and receptive to the batter, so. I'm gonna actually swap sides here. Okay, so this is the Uncle Bucks we're doing here. Um, it's kind of breading up, nice looking, I'll tell you that. There's some area that didn't get covered as well as I would have liked. Mostly just because these clams are so big. But, like I say, this is I'm just trying to do an honest video of it and have a good test on it. So, my first response is if it was me, I'd really consider cutting the size of these clams down a little bit. But we're gonna shake our excess, excess breading on spots that didn't seem to get covered here. All right, so I'm gonna give these uh, another coat of pan spray over the top. to help them crisp up a little bit. So we're at 450, we're gonna go, we're gonna go 450 for about 12 minutes and see what happens. Two option we're doing here is the panko breadcrumbs. Sorry, not panko. This is Ritz crackers. Never tried Ritz crackers on these, to be completely honest. And just something I saw online that said you should try it. And I said, okay, we give that a go. I mean, if we're baking them, I think we're we're open to all options here. I guess I did not end up with as many rich crackers. So, let's do panko. We'll kind of divide this 50-50. So I gotta be honest, with, ah, I'll tell you what I forgot to do. I forgot to spray this pan, but this pan's kind of a super non-sticker, so. I will tell you, as far as coating, the Bisquick by far coated the best. 
So I guess all these people in the south that have been making fried chicken with it for a hundred years can't be wrong. Like I said, I don't know if this is the worst idea that ever happened. We'll, we'll see. This is purely an experiment. We uh, might be just ruining five pounds of clams. We don't know here. Okay, it's not five pounds, it's about a pound. So. Okay. Spraying over the top again. So, my understanding is, is this is supposed to help set the breading. Um, it's canola oil cooking spray. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to hit this a little harder. I mean, I guess at some point if you put too much of that on, you're effectively frying it, right? But, I mean, this is supposed to be zero calories. So, we're gonna let that rock for about six minutes, flip them, and uh, we'll be back with you. Tell you what, I just wanna show these to you. So, we just hit the six minute mark. Candidly, I think they're looking pretty darn good, but, Let's bust these bad boys out and see what we're dealing with here, huh? Get you lined up for the ready to rock point. I will say visually at this point, far and away, the winner seems to be the Uncle Box. But Let's give these a let's give these a little flip if we can give them. I don't know if I can get you enough on there. Um, we're just gonna try to first separate everything. So the panko is seems to be burning a little bit on the bottom. But, we also didn't uh, spray that one. Breadcrumbs, same thing. I'll be honest with you, they all look, look pretty good. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I'd be complaining about these too much. Let's uh Let's yak these back in the oven and see what happens after about another four minutes. All right, so we're gonna rock those out for about another four minutes. We'll see what happens. I'm uh. Actually pretty stoked about the results. I'm looking forward to eating these. All right, we'll get back at you in just a second. All right, so the timer just went off. We're gonna pop these out and get a look at them. Ooh. I would say these ones here look 
most impressive. So, yeah. So basically these here are Uncle Bucks. These here are Penko. And these here are Rich Cracker. So we're gonna let these cool for just a little minute. And uh, we're gonna make up some, uh, make up some quick uh, cocktail sauce. And give these a little, we're gonna make quick and dirty cocktail sauce. Give these a little taste test here and see what we think the winner is. All right, so. All right, time for the taste test. Uh, I think what we're gonna start with here is let's start with the panko breaded. Uh, I'm gonna try it without cocktail first. Is there a spice to it? No, there's not a spice. So the panko's, not panko, I'm sorry, Bisquick. Mm. It's, it's a little, it's a little bready, it's a little bland. It doesn't have a ton of flavor. But the textures, the textures are okay. It does overwhelm the clams just a little bit. So I'd be curious to see if there's a way to thin it out. Um, Spicy. The cocktail sauce is, is good. All right. Let's go with the, the Uncle Bucks here. Uh, this one is definitely spicy. I can smell it. Clams are less chewy. Yeah, definitely it's compared to fried, the clams are less chewy. And I, I read online, I was soaking them overnight in the buttermilk. We're supposed to really tenderize them. So this one's pretty good. It's definitely a spicy sauce. It doesn't quite have the crispness that it would have if it was fried, but it's still pretty good. It's like a light breading. Definitely a good alternative to frying though, because you don't get the grease or anything like that. It's really no, it's, 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 clean. it's a nice clean flavor. It's absolutely a good alternative to frying. All right, so the last one, this is the one I'm kind of curious about. Uh, all right, go ahead. Thanks. This one is just crushed up rich crackers, soaked overnight in buttermilk and shaken in rich crackers. That one's pretty that one's good. my favorite. Maybe just a little seasoning, seasoning. You know, paprika, lauries, or whatever. I think this one's my favorite. I, I think just because the rich crackers convey just enough flavor. You know, all of them are not bad. I mean, they turned out good. They're, I'm going to use my hands here, but they're quote unquote still fingerable. The bread, the breading's not falling off, but you could, you know, you could pick them up and Eat them as an appetizer. You could serve them at a party. I definitely think soaking the clams overnight in buttermilk helped a lot. They are, they are for sure less rubbery. So hey, there you go. There's, there's three different ways to try to do this the healthy way. Um, real results, like, subscribe. Happy to talk about your comments. Happy to hear your comments. Love to hear it. If you have other ideas, fantastic. This is this is just us looking for kind of a different, better way. Thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks.